don't let a snake steal your blessing okay and this snake that we're talking about <clears throat> this could be somebody it, this, this in your life this is somebody who knows a lot of details about your life this is somebody that's close to you this could be a family member this could be a friend this could be somebody that you work with somebody that your business partners with and this message about don't let a snake steal your blessing some of you don't realize that you have people who smile in your face right but they literally wait to your weakest moments to strike <clears throat> okay don't allow that to happen don't let a snake catch you off guard again let me tell you the story of that one of my friends told me and ever since they told me that story i never wanted a snake i'm always i'm like really into exotic pets like I, dogs are cool i love dogs but that'll probably be the last pet i would ever get like i'm i'm really into like all types of other random pets right and at one point in my life i was really interested in into snakes right so i wanted to get a snake and i was talking about i was going to get a boa constrictor and one of my friends that i told the story to they didn't say anything about it they just told me a story about a friend they had with a snake they were like yeah one of my friends had a boa constrictor they had the boa constrictor for years they raised the snake from when it was a baby to when it was grown and they told me the advice is that you never feed a snake no matter how long you've had it no matter nothing you never feed a snake by yourself especially when it's a, to a certain capacity we're talking about constrictors here so they went in one time by themselves. this friend they had the snake for many years they thought they was cool you know we've been kicking it for 30 years i've been feeding the snake for 30 years so so on one evening when this person decides to see this snake that he's owned for 30 years he's in there and he does it by himself he doesn't take a crew nobody's in the room with him and this snake starts to constrict this person and he was able to yell out luckily it was other people in the house but if it wasn't other people in the house that snake was constricting that man you see what i'm saying so snakes will wait family they will wait they will wait as long as they need to wait until they have another opportunity to strike let's bring this to layman's terms you've been keeping your energy positive you've been keeping your mind and your thoughts and your eyes focused on the lord you've been doing what you need to do you've been making sure that you keep this that god gave us you've been renewing your mind constantly right and let's say, you know, everything's happened. None of us are able to hold that constantly. Only the Lord does that, right? Yeshua was able to do that as well to a degree, even though Yeshua even fumbled a couple times when he was still in the flesh. He was like, God, why have you forsaken me? So Yeshua feels us, right? However, make sure that you always guard yourself and you're always mindful. Make sure that you're aware of what you're dealing with and where you are at the time. If you know that you're having an off day or something happened, make sure that you stay away from snakes. If you happen to be a person that was in an, raised by a narcissist, if that video resonated you, make sure that you definitely, when, when you're not 100% on your A game, you most definitely avoid the narcissist at all costs. And for those of you who aren't dealing with that, just negative low vibrational people. Because just because you're negative and low vibrational doesn't make you a narcissist. That's a specific thing. But snakes, we're, 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 we're correlating that to low vibrational toxicity. People who wait for your moments of weakness to strike. In the Bible, when the Lord was tempted on that mount, after his 40 day and 40 night fast, he was tempted three times. And in one of the versions, you know, it has the book of Matthew, Luke, John, right? And one of those versions, I, I want to say it was in John, it says, it added a little bit more context. It said the devil waited to return at a more opportune time. When we entertain these snakes, when we're not aware of our energy and making sure that we're blocking people out, especially when we know that we're vulnerable, we all have vulnerable points, that's when these snakes like to attack. That's when these energy vampires like to come for your energy and they do it manipulatively depending on what type of situation that you're dealing with. Some people do it consciously, some people do it subconsciously. Some people don't know any other way to interact with life other than to take the energies of others. Some people are so miserable that the only time they get temporary relief is when they make somebody else feel miserable. So don't let them steal your blessing, don't let them take your energy, right? Keep your positivity. Be aware of the people that you have in your life. Be aware of the people that you speak to about certain things. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it feels like that very person who betrayed you, that very person, that narcissist who raised you is the only one that you can turn to. And God says, no, see, this is where you're continuing to, 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 to turn wrong. I had to use the right words. This is where you're continuing to not look at out of the right perspective. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't focus on none of them. You don't need none of them. 
The trick of a narcissist, the trick of a manipulator is to make you feel like you need them. You don't, none of us do. The only thing that we consistently need is the most high God in our lives. And you'll see that as you start to really come into terms that it's not money, it's not a narcissist, it's not this, it's not that, it's not anything or anybody outside of us, but God, you're going to see family how much of the blessings has already been there for you that you're gonna be able to start to receive from the inside. What good is a blessing that you can't receive? What good is love being given to you when you're not in, in a space to be able to receive love because you're just not mentally or emotionally there, all right? Don't let the snakes steal your blessing. Keep your positive energy. And if you see somebody coming and try to take it and steal it, as soon as you catch yourself in the middle of it, release yourself. It's not worth it. It's not worth your time. You're sent here on a mission and a purpose. Don't fit in with them people that's trying to be snakes and take your, your good light force energy that the Lord put inside of you from you. Avoid them like the plague, okay? I love y'all so very much. I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all willing to come join us, patreon.com slash prettybossTV. Also check out pbexclusive.com for all of the apparel that is officially sponsored on this website on this channel all right and also y'all make sure that y'all check out came from nothing i mean do i need to speak on this line i feel like the name speaks for itself came from nothing on instagram i love y'all so much i talk to y'all soon y'all peace